gerund, present participle. Do you know those verb plus ing things in any sentence? If you feel you still find any difficulties in differing them, here's what you will learn with me. So, just stay tuned. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, or students. As you may or may not know, my name is Diva Cahya, or you can call me Diva. No miss, no mercies, no mister, not even sir. <laughs> Anyways, I'm talking about this verb plus ing words that you may see in any sentence, like everywhere, every time, but it seems hard for you to understand if you want to use it also. Those words are like swimming, cooking, baking, singing, dancing, or so on. There's just too many of them to be mentioned. <sighs> Alright, without talking any much more, let's just go to the topic. So, we can find those verb plus ing things in gerund or present participle. That's how we call it, right? Gerund and present participles may seem the same, but they're different. Gerunds are like words that are formed with the suffix ing that we added as a verb. It may look like so, but it stands as the noun of the sentence. On the other hand, present participles are the exact verb of the sentence. It's usually used in any progressive tenses, like present progressive, past progressive, etc. We can find gerunds in any sentence as the subject, object, or object after any preposition. Meanwhile, present participle, we can find them in any progressive form. Movement and position, perception, adjective, to actions that occur at the same time, etc. By how the words look, gerund and present participle are the same. They are just infinitive words or base verbs that are added with ing. But if we look closer, by the grammatical placement, they are different. As what I've mentioned before, how gerunds are and how present participles are. So, 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 so. Now, I'm about to make you know how to identify if the verb plus ing words are any of those. By grammar, not by your senses when you're looking at it. Hmm, let's see. Now we have gerund as the subject of the sentence. The pattern is subject or gerund plus verb plus mm, maybe blank 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 because it could be a complement object etc so i take singing for the example and the sentence is singing makes you happy the verb plus ing singing acts as the subject in the sentence so it's gerund and now take a look at another form of gerund that is object after a preposition. The pattern is subject plus verb plus preposition plus gerund. Then the example is Peter has difficulties in cooking. Remember, we use gerunds after any preposition. So the word cooking is a gerund. Lastly, we move on to present participles. It's easy peasy lemon squishy. We can just look into any form be in the sentence. So, if there's be before the word, then it's a present participle. Like are for present progressive, was for past progressive, and so on. The examples are like mom is cooking in the kitchen, or my brother is playing video games with his friends, etc. Learn about any progressive tenses more so you can know well about this. And now, take a look for a moment at another present participle. That is two actions at the same time. The example is, waving their hands, the audience share the winner. The word waving is a participle because there are two actions happening at one time. <sighs> Finally, now you've watched how to identify or differentiate gerunds and present participles. It may be a little bit hard at first, but not after you've understood it well. If there's any question you want to ask, just put it in the comment section below, and don't forget to press the like button if you find this video useful. And also, subscribe y'all! Anyways, see you next time!